Well, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today we will be talking about all things metrics. We'll start off uh, with a little overview of the DORA metrics, and then we will move um, to the lean coffee discussion. As a reminder, um, we do use the Chatham House rules. And so we ask, you know, you can use the information you learn here, but please don't attribute it to any one person or organization. Uh, we will be recording the opening portion of this, but then we will turn off the recording for the lean coffee session so we can have uh, the best psychological safety as possible. If you have not yet, I encourage you to download uh, this the 2023 uh, State of DevOps report. If you have already downloaded it, I encourage you to share it with your friends, coworkers, family, um, so that we can share the research uh, with as many people as possible, especially since we, uh, all of us, you know, we've all contributed to this and we won the DevOps Dozen Award for uh, Research Report. Nathan, you probably have it on the tip of your tongue of the, the full name of the award, but uh, thank you to all of you who have contributed to the report. Thank you for everyone that voted for us as well. We are using Google Meet today. Um, and so at the bottom, you'll see where you can mute and unmute yourself. I encourage you to stay on mute unless you're speaking. Uh, you can have your camera on or off. I encourage you to have it on if it makes sense for the space you're in. Um, we will use the raised hand feature when we're using, we're having the lean coffee discussion. So you can uh, click on that to jump into the discussion or all the way over to the right, you can use the chat feature to start discussing things now or during the Lean Coffee discussion. And if you haven't already, I encourage you to introduce yourself um, in the chat. Uh, and I will say if periodically you see us post the same uh, messages in the chat, that's because when new people join, they can't see the old messages. So sometimes we'll kind of paste those same links just to make sure that everybody has them. And speaking of links, uh, we're gonna drop the Lean Coffee uh, Board link in the chat and encourage you to go over there and start adding your topics, you know, th whatever's top of mind that you wanna think about um, as Nathan's talking through the door metrics, maybe something um, comes to mind that you wanna add. And then once Nathan's done, we'll have a few more minutes to add topics. Um, and how this works is that everybody gets to be a part of this and gets to suggest topics. And then we will each get three votes. Um, you can place that on one topic or across multiple topics. And then once we are done voting, we'll go ahead and start discussing with the topic that receives the most votes for about five minutes. And then we'll come to an opportunity to have group consensus where as a group, we decide if we wanna keep talking about it, we don't really have an opinion or we're ready to move on. Um, I ask that you hold off placing your votes until I open up voting just so that you have the chance um, to see all the topics that might get added to the board uh, and will be available for today. With that, I'm gonna pass it over to Nathan. All right, thank you so much, Amanda. And hello everyone, my name is Nathan Harvey uh, and I wanna talk about metrics because it's Monday. Uh, so first, Amanda, thank you for that brilliant, brilliant song uh, to get us started, thanks for that. Uh, and as Amanda mentioned, this year we did win uh, the DevOps Dozen Award. Uh, you can learn all about all of the DevOps Dozen's winners over at devopsdozen.com. You'll see that the Dora Report won in one of the community categories for the best uh, DevOps research or analysis or report. So thank you all for being a part of this community and helping us win that award, especially those of you who voted for us. Um, I know in your heart, you all voted, so that's great. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here today to talk about metrics because it is Monday. So Dora is well known for four metrics. These are the four metrics of software delivery performance. Um, hopefully you've seen these metrics before. Maybe you're even tracking them with your team. So just to cover off on each one of them, really when we think about software delivery performance, we're thinking about it in terms of both throughput and stability. And across those two sort of broad categories, we have four questions. And you can boil them down into this one quick sentence. How long does it take for code to get into production? How frequently are you updating production? When you update production, how frequently does something go so terribly bad that you need to fix it right away? And then when you do need to fix it right away, about how long does that take? 
answering those four questions really starts to give you a sense of how you're doing with software delivery performance. Of course, over the years with Dora, what we've seen is that throughput and stability are not trade-offs of one another. The teams that are performing well across these four metrics uh, perform well across all four of them, and the teams with the lowest performance tend to perform poorly across all four as well. A couple of other really quick things about these metrics. First, they can really truly be used to measure the delivery performance of any type of technology. Whether you're talking about your heritage mainframe technology that's bringing all that delicious, delicious money into your organization, or that newfangled generative AI bot that you've just released for your internal users. You can use these four metrics to assess how each one of those applications is doing when it comes to software delivery performance. Now, of course, I would recommend against comparing those two applications to one another. For many, many reasons, there you expect that their software delivery performance is going to be different. The other thing I think that's really interesting is looking at these four metrics and making sure that you have across the cross-functional team responsible for any one application, you have shared ownership of them. Don't fall into the trap of giving only some of these metrics to one team and others of these metrics to another team. You might be setting up some real friction across those teams that is not necessarily healthy or, more importantly, helping your users get what they want out of those applications. <clears throat> and then I think another thing that's really important when we think about these four measures, we've been talking about these measures for quite some time within the DORA research program. And it's always interesting to remember or to reassess how we ask those questions. How do we assess them? And the way that we do so is always starts off with this, for the primary application or service that you work on. You see, these four metrics are not meant at an organizational level, not even meant necessarily at a team level, but rather at the level of an application or a service. And then I guess the final thing I'll say about these metrics that's really interesting, when you first encounter them, hmm, let's see, we've got the time for changes, deployment frequency, change fail rate, and failed deployment recovery time. Those all seem pretty simple. but Honestly, the moment you start peeling them back and trying to place them into the context of your application, things might get a little bit tricky. Even something as simple as deployment frequency, you might start to run into some real challenges. What does it mean for an application to be deployed? In our phrasing, we say that the changes have made it into production. What does that mean? Sometimes we deploy things behind feature flags. Does that count as in production? Sometimes when we release our software, we're releasing it in stages or sort of doing a progressive deployment where maybe one user has access to that new feature and then 10 users and then 10% of our users. Is it in production at that first user or only when we get to 100%? Unfortunately, or fortunately, Dora doesn't really tell you the answers to these questions, but rather leaves it up to you, the team that's responsible for understanding, collecting, gathering, monitoring these metrics to really define that, again, at a context-specific level. Taking all of that, I'm always left with one question. Well, let's be honest, I'm always left with a lot of questions, but one question I wanna just kind of drop a little seed on here. Maybe it will show up in our Lean Coffee discussion. How precise do you need to be when collecting these metrics? Or maybe to phrase it a different way, are you collecting these metrics today? And if so, what level of precision are you using? How are you defining each one of those four questions for the applications or services that you're looking after? How much precision, precision is really required? I don't know but I can't wait to discuss that and many more things with you as we move over to the Lean Coffee. And with that, Amanda, I'll turn it back to you. Awesome, thank you, Nathan. And I just um, dropped the link to join us at the Lean Coffee table uh, in the chat in case you have joined us recently in the last few minutes. Um, so I encourage everyone, uh, we're gonna uh, take until 17 after the hour to add topics to the board. Um, so I encourage you to go ahead and do that now. If you're still typing up a topic, you can 
finish that up and add it, but we're going to go ahead and open the voting. So you have three votes. Again, you can put it on one topic or across multiple topics. Um, and I'll give you till 19 after the hour to go ahead and do that. Um, unless I see that all the votes have been placed and then I'll just get us started. Uh, so go ahead and start your voting. All right, as you're placing your last couple of votes, I uh, just want to go over some tips for participating in today's discussion. Um, first, encourage you to join the discussion and you can do that a couple different ways. One is by raising your hand. So using that raised hand feature at the bottom of the screen. Um, you can also join in by talk, you know, talking in the chat over to the right and also on the Lean Coffee board, you can add notes there as well. And we do share out um, the board. So you'll have those uh, captured, those notes and top of mind thoughts that come up during this discussion. And then most importantly, encourage us, you know, we want to be thoughtful. We want to get all the voices in this discussion that we can. And so um, at times, you know, I, I will I will plan to go through as you raise your hand in order, but if I see someone um, has raised their hand for the first time and people ahead of them have spoken a few times, I'm gonna hop over to them first and then I will come back to you. And I appreciate your understanding with that. Um, so then we'll hop over to the Lean Coffee Board to get started. You will notice uh, we do keep the author names and the vote count off during this process, just so that we can really focus on the topics and, and not get distracted. So. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on. And I will ask if you submitted the topic to the board, um, all you need to do is just introduce it and then the community can take it over from there. 